we're going to look at the switch statement, which is a way to rewrite a bunch of if, else, if, else, if, else, if, else into what's called a switch statement. So it encapsulates a lot of this uh, in a, a different way. So I just copied this on page 76 and paste it in here. Control A, Alt Shift F to format. Now we don't have a number, we have X. Uh, let's go ahead, I'll just drop our normal print statements in here. use the default here. I'll explain what all these are. Okay, you don't need that double break right there. All right, now there's a lot of restrictions on a switch statement uh, and that you need to have a value. So you can't put a condition, you can try, but Copy that. You can't put a condition in here. That won't work. Um, so it's a bit more restrictive. So I can't really do what I was trying to do before. Uh, let's assume it's going to be one or negative one. So we'll do x is positive one, x is. Oops. So it's either going to be one, negative one, or if you look at that default right there, it's going to print something else. Now the switch is limited. As I said, you can't uh, compare to zero or, or to any other value. So it's a bit more restrictive than the if else. So we enter a number. Well, if I enter three, what's going to happen? Well, it's not one, it's not negative one. So it's going to go to the default down there. Three is something else. All right, enter number one. One is positive one. Try negative, oops. Negative one, negative one is negative one. All right. Let's uh, comment this break statement out. That's control slash, toggles your comment. And let's run it again. Now I'm gonna do negative one a second time. Not there. All right, what happens? Well, the execution it went, uh, it switched on X, it's not one, so it went here to negative one. Yes, it is negative one. So of course we see that print statement as we expected. However, if there's no break statement, what happens next? Execution continues down to the next line of code. So this one is also run. I can get crazy and take out that break. And then if I have one, it'll actually print out all three. You probably want break statements in here uh, generally. There's very few times you don't want break statements after each case, uh, but this is how case uh, the switch statements work with cases. And again, it's very restrictive. You do not need a default. In fact, if I take it out, run it again, uh, I'm gonna type in four, which is not one and negative one. What happens? Well, there's no other code right here. So we continue to this line and then finish the program.